time now to brag on what Austin Gomber has done. How about this? Since June 30th, Spilly, he has a 263 earned run average. That's third best in the National League. His first pitch is a fastball, and it's lifted to right field. Nolan Jones is out there, and he secures the baseball. The gates is Kyle Lewis, batting second against the left-hander. I think the D-backs would really like to see Kyle really get untracked. There's some slug. That's down the line. Extra bases for Kyle Lewis. It checks up in the corner, and Kyle has a one-out double. And he's at second with a one-out for Tommy Pham. Is hit towards third. Down to one knee, handled by Trejo, and on over to first. Good play. Well, here comes Christian Walker, who has had a tremendous series now with 26 home runs on the year. It's always been a goal of Walker's, he said, to try and get to that 100 RBI threshold. Walker might have got under this one. Will it carry out of here? Profar looking up, and he's done it again. Christian Walker's third consecutive game with a home run in Colorado, and it's 2 nothing Diamondbacks. And Walker just jumped all over that one. He has homered in four of his last five games. Christian Walker's 27. Well, the rookie right-hander Slade Ciccone, 24 years old, a first-round pick out of Miami in 2020. Candy, just his second career start. Ezekiel Tovar will lead it off. Oh, one that is lined to left, and it'll get down for a base hit. Bounced in front of Gurriel out there and left. Ezekiel Tovar trying to start the Rockies' comeback. Profar swings and hits a high fly ball into center. Thomas hits the brakes and now coming in makes the catch. Designated hitter Ryan McMahon coming to the plate. McMahon, 19 homers, 60 RBIs. Here goes Tovar, got a big jump. Herrera the throw and they got him. Jose Herrera throws out Ezekiel Tovar and there's two outs in the first. Good throw right on the base. I mean, quick pop time and boom. Boy, what a nice job he has done for the Diamondbacks. He can stop the running game. He blocks balls very well. One ball and two strikes. This ball's well hit to right. This has a chance to fly, and it will. Ryan McMahon with his 20th of the year, and he makes it a 2-1 to one ball game. He got it. It's 105 miles an hour off the bat. Change up. But it's also hot. I mean, we know it's warm at Coors Field. The ball flies. So there it is. Change up. Knew it as soon as he got it. And there's a quick out for Slade in the second. That brings Austin Wins to the plate. The 0 2 pitch is popped up. And Cattell Marte is got it. Two down. 3 2. Swing and a miss, and Doyle down on strikes. The inning is over. On board ahead of Kyle Lewis, the DH who bats second. Kyle slammed a double down the left field line his first time up. Kyle hits it hard, just past the reach of Trejo. Lewis two for two, Marte stops at second. And it'll give Tommy Pham a chance to see if he can give Arizona a little bigger cushion. He came in, line drive caught. That's not the double play you thought you were going to get, but that'll work just fine. Brandon Rogers makes a catch, runs to the bag, doubles off Marte, and the Rockies are off the field in the third. A walk to Rogers that'll set up runners at first and second. Now you got to face a pretty tough power hitter here, Nolan Jones. A couple guys on base. As this one is popped up into shallow center, should end the inning. As Thomas coming in, makes a one-handed catch, and that'll do it for Colorado. And on to the fourth, where the Diamondbacks lead it 2-1 over the Rockies. Hit number five for Arizona. First time they've had the leadoff man on. 0-1 to Gurriel is a chopper towards third. They'll get the lead man. Do they get them both? They do. 5-4-3. 2 2 pitch swing and a miss. He got him. First strikeout of the afternoon for Austin Gomber. Still 2-1 Arizona. One out walk. Third walk Ciccone has issued today. Wins. Popped out his first time up. There goes Trejo. Wins hits a fly ball. Pretty deep left center. Alec Thomas is out there, and he's got it. Trejo all the way back to the bank at first, and that's out number two. Over the mound, backhanded nicely by Cattell with some fancy footwork at second base. And Slade Ciccone at Coors Field is through four with a 2-1 lead. So much of this game for the Diamondbacks will be dictated on what kind of length Tyler Gilbert can provide from this point going forward. It's a tough task right now coming in with a runner on first base, 1-1 one, one ball game. Hit in the air to right field. It's carrying to right. Going back is Carroll, and he can't make the catch as he crashes into the wall. Tovar will hold it third. Tying run at third, go ahead run at second. It's McMahon at the plate. His homer in the first inning, the Rockies run. A one pitch. Lined into right field. That's a base hit. 
Tovar scores. Profar will be held at third. Ryan McMahon is second run batted in. The game tied at two. He is on his game today. To third. And on the transition was dropped Marte. And he's safe at the plate. He made a perfect throw. But Profar got his hand in under the tag of Jose Herrera and Alex Tosi with an emphatic safe call. Colorado has taken a 3-2 lead. Tommy Pham's at third. Christian Walker's at second base. Corbin Carroll's at first. Buddy with a chance right here to get the lead right back. He walked in the tying run. It's 3-3. Three three. Love it. This is exactly what the D-backs need. Get a little rally going. Take some pitches. See some pitches. Jake Bird is going to come in. Chance to put a big crooked number on the board. They have answered back with one after Colorado got two in the bottom of the fifth. And here is Nick Ahmed 0 for 2. Nick first pitch swing and lifts it deep right center. That ball is carrying. It's carrying. And Nick Ahmed hits it high off the wall. Everybody's on the move. Ahmed is coming home. He's going to go all the way around, and he is out at home. It hit high off that bullpen fence and rolled away from both outfielders out there. Three runs come in. Good run for the Diamondbacks here in the sixth. Two outs, two on. All right, and out away from getting out of the inning. Rogers with a double, a walk, and a fielder's choice. This ball pulled toward left, and Tommy Pham's not going to be able to catch this one. One hop off the wall, one running score. Tovar flying toward the plate. Here's the throw, cut off. Six to five on the double by Brendan Rodgers. Yeah, the back and forth affair continues. Jones a walk and then two fly ball outs to center today. Yes. And this ball is tagged deep right field, way back. Got the Rockies are taking a 7-6 lead. How about that Nolan Jones? Then Colorado gets four of their own in the bottom half of this sixth inning. And here we go again. Yeah, the Diamondbacks got the tying run aboard here to start the eighth inning. Oh, this is the guy you want at the play. Christian Walker can do no wrong when he comes to Coors Field. They can't get him out. Christian hits it up in the air. It's carrying to center. Doyle back it up to the track, to the wall. And that one's in the bullpen. Christian Walker has done it again in Colorado. His fourth home run in this series, and it's eight to seven Diamondbacks. Oh, my goodness, is he hot. I mean, one pitch, and it was gone. And again, wow. he hits this ball to right of center field. Ball four, and the bases are loaded without a single hit for the Diamondbacks. Loads the bases for Tommy Pham. Pham hits it in the air, out to Jones in left. Alec Thomas at third. Here he comes. Everybody else stays put. Alec will score, and it's 9-7, to seven, the RBI for Tommy Pham, and they get one pad run there. A two-run lead in the ninth inning. Most places you feel good about it. Not at Coors Field. One ball, two strikes the count. Diamondbacks a strike away from a series victory here. Wing and a miss. Paul Seawald shuts the door. And the Diamondbacks get back over 500. They win another wild one at Coors Field. It's 9-7. to seven. All right, can we exhale now?